Good morning, we're here with Amy at Max Medical Robotic Hair Transplant uh, uh, Clinic and uh, we're going to start an FUV case uh, today. Um, Amy, she has a, a little bit of hair loss in uh, this area, side peak, and we're going to restore it back to uh, what it was, what, a couple years ago? Mm -hmm. okay. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, I, work, I like to work out a lot. I do fitness competitions. So for me, I, I can hide this easily, but I wear my hair up so much in a ponytail, probably more than I do at work. So for me, I see it all the time, and it just makes me really, really self-conscious. So I just want to be able to be able to pull my hair back, look in the mirror by accident in a gym, and not see a big bald spot over there. So that was the main reason I came here. And I had a good friend refer me here as well, another surgeon from Texas. So let me know, this guy's good, up and coming. All right, thank you. So um, yeah, we'll be updating you throughout the case and we're gonna start shortly with drawing the hairline. We uh, here with Emmy. She uh, she's post up day number two. She had her FUE procedure on Friday. She came here for follow up. And what what is strong to me? Not a physician, even as a person that I can never tell she had her surgery two days ago. As you can see, as unless we do something, you know, to alter her appearance, you're not gonna be able to see that. But we place how many grafts? Uh, 500? 500 grafts. So she decided, no, she, she had a little bit of uh, hair loss and, and, and that, that was a little bit concerning mm -hmm. for you and decided to move. So if I, if I move her hair a little bit, now you can see a little bit, right? Otherwise it's completely hidden. There is no swelling. There is nothing really. You can tell she had an anesthesia in the back of your head. The same thing. The hair is covering the area where we extracted hair, and this is right here. As you can see, it's only been two days, but you can hardly tell that anything was done. It com looks completely normal, a little bit of uh, erythema, a little bit of redness, but uh, the area is, is completely healed when we do like this. There's no, not, not the slightest evidence she had in the procedure. So could you share some of your experience? It's been two days, right? Yes, two days. And you had some experience with um, with uh, hair transplant. Yes, right? I worked in the industry for about five years, so I'm very familiar with the strip procedure. And I just decided if I was going to do this on my own, that I did not want to do the strip. So I took a look to see different alternatives, and I felt that this was the easiest alternative with the least amount of downtime. Okay, so your, your own experience, uh, just, you know, we, you had your procedure on Friday, now, yes. now it's Monday, right? How, yes. How do you feel? How, how I feel great. Experience? The hardest part is just not being able to be active because I don't feel like I've really had too much done. Uh, the first day is, you know, a little, a little swollen, a little tenderness, but that's about it. But no pain. It was very easy. And so yesterday, I, it was hard for me not to go out and do things. Yes. So that's been the toughest part. And they told me to take off today of work, yes. but I didn't because I just didn't feel like I needed to. So. But she, yeah, she's back to work the, uh, uh, this month. And the reason about uh, decrease of physical activity is not because she's not capable. She's, as you can see, she got a huge muscle. She's very active, right? <laughs> yeah, and you're modeling a little bit, right? And, I do uh, fitness competition. Yeah, fit, fitness yeah. competition. Um, just because of the, when the grafts are being transplanted, we want to wait till um, uh, to. To, not to compromise the blood supply because when you start exercising your blood goes to your heart to your muscle instead of to the skin so we just advise for about five to seven days you can exercise but you can just take it a little easier right but otherwise you, you know you, you feel great right? i felt great you know, it was really good. easy i went into work today and it was funny because everyone was like i thought you were getting a hair transplant on friday and i'm like i did they're like seriously and i'm like yeah like check it out and they're like oh yeah so no one even noticed Yes. So, yeah. yeah, there's absolutely no swelling. Or no heat. swelling. I don't have any discomfort. I didn't feel any tenderness on the back of my head. Nothing. Do you have to take any painkillers? No, you know what? I took one medication just at night just to be able to fall asleep a little easier. But other than I didn't need it, but I just but wanted I to have a sound night's sleep. That was it. Yeah, yes. it's not even pain medication. It's the Tylenol. Yes. With, and typically on the street procedure, you have to take some more pills and sometimes bicodine or yeah. more cold because the 
you know, the scars being um, and obviously the, the, the pain level are much higher. Yeah, so it was really easy. I would recommend a lot of women don't do it because they're afraid that of the downtime and that it's going to hurt, but it's totally worth it. It doesn't hurt. It's simple. I'll let you know more when I get results because it's, it's only like the third day or second day. So and we'll do just, another follow up. Yeah, we should start. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks.